104.5, the team, you're home for New York sports. Uh, on the phone right now, a guy's got a Cy Young for the New York Mets and now uh, a big part of that pitching staff for the first place American East Toronto Blue Jays. R.A. Dickey on the phone, the knuckleballer. How are you guys in first place right now? Uh, you know, I think it's just consistency. Um, you know, you look you look for a level of consistency in this league that allows you to um, compete day in and day out. Uh and we have that and have been really fortunate that we've stayed healthy, especially in our pitching staff. I think we've we've only used seven starters the whole year, which is pretty miraculous in this day and age for a starting staff. We're your home for the New York Yankees here in the Capital Region, but you had a lot of success with the other New York team, the New York Mets. What was it like working and playing for that organization? You know, I, I, have, I owe a lot to, to the Mets organization. They really – gave me a shot at um, being a full-time established major leaguer and I uh, had some great relationships and really had a connection with the city that um, is was something I'll always remember. You know, the, the New York Met fan is a working-class fan, and I always felt like I, I represented that class um, with the way that I pitched and kind of my, my story arc as far as the knuckleball is concerned. And so there was a real connection there for me, and I still hold dear a lot of my memories there and a lot of the relationships that I was able to to have there. That pitching rotation is struggling with injuries right now. Zach Wheeler, Stephen Matz, Matt Harvey, you were a pitcher in that organization. Can you figure out why these guys are struggling with injuries right now? You know, if I could figure that out, I think I'd be making a lot of money uh, <laughs> doing something else. I, you know, I, I think it's just, you know, everybody everybody is different. Um, every Everybody possesses a different type of tissue within their body. You know, some some are more durable than others, and that's that's not a knock on anything. It's just the way it is. I I just think, you know, in this day and age, we do so much to protect pitchers that if you have an injury, you were bound to have that injury no matter what. I mean, we we uh, cut innings limits, we cut pitch counts, we do everything we can to help preserve arms. So, you know, sometimes it's just the nature of, you know. Pitching a baseball is an unnatural movement, so you do that at, at 98 to 100 miles an hour like some of these guys are doing nowadays, you're going to have some, some fallout from that. 104.5 The Team, 104.5theteam.com, LeVac and Wolf, guys in for Wolf today. R.A. Dickey on the phone. You're known for the knuckleball. What made you decide to become a knuckleballer? Well, I, I just think it was something that I've always tinkered with even when I was a conventional pitcher the first 10 years of my major league career um, or professional career, I should say. And I just, when I started, when I started losing my, my juice as a, as a conventional pitcher, I had to come up with something that was going to help me sustain a major league career. And I had always thrown a good knuckleball. So I went to that full time in 2005 and from then on, I've just been a work in progress trying to figure out um, ways that I can be consistent with that pitch. If there was a young pitcher that wanted to learn the knuckleball, how long would it take for them to learn? Would you recommend them trying to put it into their pitching rotation? Oh, 100%. I think learning it early is the way to go. Um, it's kind of hard to pick it up when you're an adult, um, especially if you've thrown a certain way your whole life and then all of a sudden you, you want to try to throw a knuckleball, it can be kind of tough. If you if you learn the grip, it's all about the grip at the beginning of the of the journey. It's just, you know, learning how to place your fingers and fingernails in the right places and keeping your wrist stiff. But it's really an easy pitch on the arm. So I would encourage, you know, a lot of a lot of young pitchers to, to use it as a change up even, um, because it takes uh, a lot of pressure off your arm. Why do you think teams like the Yankees struggle against the knuckleball while other teams can sometimes have success against it? You know, it's about personnel. You know, if you've got hitters that are that are content with, you know, taking the ball the other way or real patient at the plate, a lot of times those type of hitters give knuckleballers a fit. Whereas, you know, if you have a more aggressive club, power hitters, you know, I would much rather face, you know, the number three and four hitters on every team than those guys that are down the order a little bit because those guys are, are content with just putting the ball in play, and sometimes that's what's tough for a knuckleballer. R.A. Dickey joins us here on the phone lines, 104.5 The Team and 104.5 theteamcom R.A. Dickey, tell us a little bit about what it means to you to be a Dickey's brand ambassador. 
Well, you know, it's it's been a great relationship, you know, not only because our names are um, the same as an <laughs> organic fit in that regard, but, you know, I grew up in Dickie's uh, clothing, um, and, and when I was younger, I wore them, and then when I got to uh, become an ambassador for them, it really felt good to get behind a brand that was so reliable and durable. Those are all attributes that I hope to have as a pitcher, right, is being reliable and durable and and dependable and and Dickies has always represented that they're all they've always been a brand that's been built to work and now they've um ventured into the to the work denim area and I would encourage people to go to dickies.com and and pick up a pair of jeans you don't really think about Dickies being a jeans uh, clothing line but but um they are and and they've got real comfortable jeans now that are great to wear in the workplace and so um, I encourage everybody to go pick up a pair. No doubt. Check out Dickies.com, and Dickies has that longevity. Like R.A. Dickey, who's played now over a decade in Major League Baseball, but R.A., you're now 41 years old. How much longer do you think you got left in Major League Baseball? You know, my body feels great. So, I, you know, I think it's a family decision at this point. I'm married and have four kids, and um, I, one of those uh, kids is going to be um, a freshman in high school, so that's an important time to be around. So it, it'll be a family decision um, at the end of the season. We'll see what happens uh, this off season and what opportunities are out there. But um, as, for, as far as my body goes, I feel great and feel like I could continue to compete. And because I throw a knuckleball, it gives me a chance to go further than I probably otherwise would be able to go. Um, so we'll, we'll take it um, uh, you know, an off season at a time. We'll get you out of here on this. What's going to give your Toronto Blue Jays the best chance to hang on to that lead in the AL East and win the division this year? Good pitching. In a nutshell, I think if we pitch well, we're going to we're going to do it. Um, you know, we've got the offense. It's just a matter of consistently pitching against uh, the AL East um, uh, in a way that's successful. They, we're going to beat each other up. We just got to beat beat the other team up a little bit more. All right, Dicky, right here with us, 104.5, the team you're home for New York Yankees baseball. Now, now, all right, you've got two more games, two more series, that is, against the New York Yankees. So I wish you a, a good season remaining, except for when you face our New York Yankees. Go easy on us, man. We'd appreciate it. Uh, great talking to you, and best of luck. No worries. Thank you.